show me the money. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about a question that a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comment section. Mr. V, how much money do I need to make $250 a day? That is the key question that I've been getting from a lot of you guys. So I wanted to break it down in the video so that everybody can just listen to this or watch this and make your own decisions. Before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. Also, I share with you guys my strategy on how I make $250 a day trading stocks in the market. I've actually created a playlist that if you want to watch, I'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go watch it where I give you my strategy. I show you my setup, uh, you know, my hotkeys on the Weibo platform and all the things that I'm doing, I'm actually documenting them. So I have that playlist. Definitely go check it out, watch it or share it with somebody they think that would find it useful. So how much money do you need to make $250 a day? That is a very tricky question, right? And I'll simply, my simple answer to that question is, it depends. The more money you have in your account, the, the, the easier it is for you to make $250 a day. And the more money you have in your account, it makes it even more easier for you to lose more money because you, you get lousy. You think that you have a backup plan that, that if you lose money, you still have some money to trade with. Whereas for somebody that doesn't have a ton of money, they would actually take their time follow your strategy, make sure that they pick their entry points properly. They use your stop loss as it's supposed to be used to cut their losses early and get out. So if you have a thousand dollars to trade the market, you can make $250 a day. That's very, very possible. I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying it's possible. And here how you can go about it. If you have a thousand dollars a day, what I want you to do is once you go into a trade, right? The first thing you want to think is how much do I want out of this trade? What percent gain do I want out of this, this particular trade? Ideally, if you can make 5% in a trade, that is really good. So 5% of a thousand dollars is $50. So if you're going into a trade and you know you can get $50 in that one trade, that's pretty good. And when I say I make $250 a day, I've never claimed that I make it in one trade. So, because I don't wanna to have to take that risk and give back profit that I've seen in my account. So whenever the profit comes, I take that profit, secure that profit, and wait for another opportunity. You are trading the stock market. There's always gonna be opportunities. And that's the one thing that kills a lot of people. A lot of people trade like there's no tomorrow trade like there's no other opportunity after that one. So they're trying to make it happen in that one trade. They'll chase the trade up, they'll chase the trade down and end up losing money in the, in the process. So again, if you have a thousand dollars that you want to trade, you say you want to make 5% of that $1,000, which is $50. So you look for your, you look for your, the stocks that you want to trade, you pick your entry point. Once you get in, again, put your stop loss. Say, okay, I'm, I'm willing to risk $10 to make 50. Put your stop loss. And as soon as it hits that stop loss, it kicks you out, you lose $10. But at least you've saved yourself enough money to be able to go back again and trade. And then as soon as you go in and you make that $50, take that and get out. Don't be a greedy savage. You can use other techniques. Again, this is based on how much you've been trading and what, you, what your understanding is. You can use other techniques like using a, a trailing stop that can actually help you secure more profit if you start to go up. But stuff like that, again, if it starts to go down, it would also kick you out, So, which is, which is a good strategy. And again, for a lot of you guys that are thinking that, oh, I, I've seen this video, Mr. V says he's make $250 a day trading the stock market, and I have $1,000 or $2,000 and I wanna do it, I'll just tell you to pump the brakes. Just hold on. Don't rush in and jump into the ocean with sharks. What I want you to do is take a step back, go on the Weibo platform, which I've actually done a video about it, how you can paper trade on the Weibo platform. So definitely check it on the channel. Go on the Weibo platform, paper trade, 
Test the strategy, make sure it works. Because again, this is my strategy that I'm sharing with you guys. So test the strategy, make sure it works. If there's any tweaks that you can add to the strategy that fits your particular trading need, definitely take it. Add it, make sure it works before you get out and go into the ocean to swim with sharks. Again, one, one of the other benefits of using paper trading with Weibo is that you can sign up for your paper trading competition where you can win up to about $500. So if you haven't already signed up for Weibo, this is your opportunity. Links in the description below where you get two free stocks, not one, two for just signing up. When you sign up and you start paper trading, you can actually sign up for the paper trading competition and win money. And that's how you can test your strategy. What better way to do it where you're testing your strategy and then you can win money in the process if, you, if your strategy is actually working. That's something that I want you to consider, guys. So um, going into trading, ideally, if you have $1,000, you can definitely make $250 a day. If you have $10,000, you can definitely make $250 a day. Again, it comes down to your execution and your strategy and your composure. A lot of people take emotions and put it as part of their trading strategy. Emotions and trading make a very bad combination. So don't do that. Just keep your emotions in check. As a matter of fact, when you sit on your desk to trade, don't even take your emotions with you. Don't bring your emotions because they are going to set you frustrated. They're going to make you lose money in the market. And guess what? The market is a, is a jungle. It would eat you and spit you out alive. That's how bad the market is. So by the time you go in there, you should have a plan. You should have your entry plan. You should have your exit plan. You should be very, very confident and know exactly what you're doing. Most people trade again, like I said, with hopes. You go in there and see the stock and just buy and hope that it goes up without understanding or even doing any research to see, to know why that stock should go up or it should go down or even listen to the news. Hope is not something that you can use in the stock market. You don't hope that things go up. You might go in and Maybe it works out for you, one or two trades, it went up like you thought it was going to go up, you made money, and then it was like, oh, it worked. That's not a strategy. That is guessing the stock market. That is playing with fire. It will burn you. It would eat you again, like I said, and it just spit you out alive. So be very, very careful. Um, to conclude this, I will say, if you have anywhere between $500 uh, to, I don't care, five, 10, 15, 20,000, you can certainly make $250 a day. Uh, the only thing that I'm asking from you is that you stay disciplined. Set your goals, set what percentage you want to make. Um, with Weibo, there is when the entry, the, the order entry form gives you the opportunity to be able to put a stop loss and take profit. That's one, one of the things I love about the platform. And you do the math for you, you can calculate how much profit you're going to make and how much you're willing to lose. So if I put my stop loss, I would say, okay, I'm willing to lose, let's say $50 to make $200 or $300. Bam. I, and put that trade and let it go. And so once I, I'm in the money, I, I start moving my stop loss to secure profit. So there's other ways. There's, there's a lot of ways that you can actually go about doing this. But the goal is not to focus so much on the amount because you're thinking, oh, if I had $10,000, I'll be making a lot more. If you cannot, if your strategy cannot execute very well for you to make a thousand, to make $250 with $1,000, and that strategy might be a little bit difficult. If you want to implement it to, with say $10,000, you might make money, but again, you, you're exposing yourself to lose a ton of money in the process. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? Uh, how much money did you start investing with and how much money do you plan to continue investing with? Again, with me, my strategy has been I do this more so from the mindset of a business. So I have my capital. Each month, I take out my profit and I keep that same capital. My goal is to grow that to save $50,000 where that would be my capital and then anything that I make each month of that $50,000 that's what I keep in my pocket. So it could be 5% of $50,000, 10% of $50,000. That would be what I'm going to transfer out of my margin account as my monthly 
income so that's where i'm gonna approach it so let me know in the comment section how you are going about it and also if you're looking to get started with investing webo is currently doing a promotion where if you deposit a hundred dollars you get two free stocks not one two uh just for signing up and depositing a hundred dollars worth somewhere between eight dollars and sixteen hundred dollars so definitely take advantage of this and, and as always guys don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated